The show is called Sideways to the Sun, and it's basically sets the tone of this idea of reorienting yourself to nature. The idea was for it to take over the space, really. Yeah, this is pretty wild for astronomers. <laughs> the great thing about lunar eclipses is that they're a nice slow event, as you can see, the family, all the family's gonna enjoy them. So cool. Here what we're trying to do is figure out how to build living tissues made of soft gels and living cells. We're gathered here today to stand for freedom. It's my great honor to stand in an institute and alongside a man who has served the cause of freedom with such great distinction. We have a liftoff, liftoff on Apollo 11. The 50th anniversary of that Apollo 11 mission seems like an appropriate time to dedicate a plaque here at Historic Rice Stadium to commemorate Kennedy's famous speech. It's truly been a magical experience and I'm really grateful for all the teachers, the wonderful professors and everyone supporting me to have me here so far. It's like we're still dreaming. It's like crazy, it's like actual reality now and it's not just something that's, oh it's in a couple months. It's actually here right now, I'm here on campus, moving in, it's crazy. A monument to a dead glacier is a way of marking climate change in ways that recognize the science, but also recognize that there are other ways that we need to communicate what's happening in our world. Great universities invest in and present great works of art. And in Solowitz wall drawing number 1115, we have a great work of art that will be enjoyed for generations to come. Well, this was the first time in Rice history that we've ever beat Texas. And we had so many fans out here to support us that it just gave us so much boost to our work ethic, our energy. I will definitely remember how loud it was in here. Um, that's probably the loudest I've heard Tudor ever, probably.